Hello, we've seen in other tutorials how to undertake an unpaired t-test in GraphPad Prism. But what if your data are paired? What if we're measuring the same parameter pre or post treatment and we want to analyse the difference between our two groups? Well, here's some data on the screen, pre and post, in group A and group B. But each of these rows, 1 through to 6, represents a different subject that's been measured pre and post. Therefore, the data are paired. We can quickly show this by clicking on the formatting bar here and show row titles and press OK and enter in our subjects. So this is subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4, subject 5 and subject 6. Now, when we look at these data objectively, we will see that the subject 1, for instance, goes from 5 to 6. Subject 5 goes from 2 to 5. And if we show these data as a graph, you will see that although the average of our data increase in our post-sample compared to our pre-sample, if we were to carry out a standard student unpaired t-test between these data sets, which I've done here, you'll see that our p-value is 0.138, therefore it is not significant. The data are paired, but we've undertaken an incorrect test, an unpaired t-test. So let's go back to our paired data, and let's carry out a paired t-test. In order to do so, I can click on the Analyze button on the Analysis toolbar. I can click on the New Analysis in the Results section, or I can go to the Graph and also click on the Analysis button. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll click on the Analyze button on the Analysis toolbar. This brings up our built-in analysis data window. We go down and from Column Analyses, we choose T-Tests, and we select our two groups, Group A and Group B, which represent our pre- and post data sets. We then click OK. I've already analysed these data with an unpaired t-test, so I'm going to analyse these table again, creating a new results seat, and then I can compare my unpaired with my paired analyses. I'm going to click OK, and now you can see that an experimental design indicates that I'm using a paired t-test. If I click on unpaired, it is merely comparing the means of column A with the means of column B. If I click on paired, it's directly comparing each of these as replicate samples or different people in this case. I'm going to choose all the default settings on this table and click OK. Now my table has been analysed with paired data in a paired t-test and I've performed a two-tailed paired t-test and now we can see our p-value is 0.002, therefore is significant. When we compare this to our unpaired test, we'll see the difference in p-value. And that's because this time round we've done the correct analyses and we've used a paired test to compare paired data.